So I've just received one of the most special gifts I've ever received and I wanna share it with you. So stick around. Well, good day, Throttlers, and welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm really excited to share this story with you today, but I also want to introduce a new segment, if you might want to call it, to all of my videos moving forward. Now, somewhere within the video, a flash on the screen will have a code word. Now, this code word, if you pop that into any of your comments in the section below, you will go into the draw to win a special gift on the day. In particular, today's gift is the Throttle Down Under Classic Cat. So one person will be selected from this video if you've used the code word in the comment sections below. And I'll send this to anywhere in the world, whoever wins. So be sure to keep your eye peeled on the video. Somewhere in the video, a code word will pop up. Use that in the comment sections below and go into the chance to win some Throttle Down Under merchandise. Now, firstly, I wanna say that this channel isn't and never will be a political channel. My goal for Throttle Down Under is always to entertain and inform motoring enthusiasts. Whether you're into cars, motorcycles, boats, whatever it might be, this channel is about sharing information with you, sharing entertainment with you, and bringing people together and creating community. Now, in saying all of that, Part of today's gift is exactly what I've just talked about, but there's a bit more of a serious element to it too. So growing up in Australia, particularly for my generation, our education system only taught us about one side of Australian history. That was the European side of Australian history, Captain Cook, Captain Bly, the First Fleet, all that sort of stuff. What we weren't informed about so much is how that affected the indigenous community on the land where we now stand. Now, Again, this is not political, this is not uh, something that I wanna get on a high horse about, but um, my mind has broadened over the years as I've gotten older, and particularly when I've listened to music and read books from people like Archie Roach and others as well. Now, the first week of July, every year is NAIDOC week, and this is an opportunity where Indigenous communities, whether they be Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islanders, can celebrate their history. But what I think is more important is the whole of Australia can celebrate the history of Indigenous communities as well and have an opportunity to open our minds and also get to know and understand these communities more so we can all live in a much happier place than we have done in the past. Now since re-entering the motorcycle community a handful of years ago, I've had the opportunity to meet and become friends with some really amazing Aboriginal men that are making a difference and riding super cool motorcycles. So let's hear from Lee about what NAIDOC week means to him. Thanks Rob. Hey Throttlers, Lee from KM Lens Media here. I'm a Biripai Gadigal man. I grew up on my mother's country, Biripai, up on the mid-north coast in New South Wales. I've known Rob for a little while now and mate, I've got to say it's really good to see you embrace your journey in learning about, Abor about Aboriginal culture and Australia's history. I think it's really important so good on you mate. NAIDOC week for me is an opportunity to celebrate my culture, my language, but also other cultures from around Australia and really immerse myself in that uh, and celebrate Aboriginal people's achievements, whether that's through sport, TV, music, whatever that may be. Uh, it's really good to see Aboriginal people succeed through the challenges and obstacles that have been thrown our way in the last 240 years. Uh, and in saying that, uh, it's, it's a good chance for me to reflect on the sacrifices made by my family members and other Aboriginal people before me so that I can succeed today. Also a really good opportunity for non-Aboriginal people to celebrate with us, celebrate our culture, learn more about our culture and learn Australia's history so we can have a mutual understanding of Australia's history and enjoy our culture together and move forward together. I encourage you as non-Aboriginal people to get out there and celebrate with us in, a, in a, an event that's happening in your community over the next week or in the, next, in the coming weeks. There's often events that follow NAIDOC week as well. So please get out there and enjoy it, learn about our culture and take it back to the dinner table and, and teach it to your kids because that next generation 
are the, the ones that are going to make a real difference as always. So happy NEDOC week. Hope you have a good week and, and thanks Rob. Now getting back to the whole reason for this video is this amazing gift that I received. Now this came from my mate Nathan. Now Nathan is known as the Outback Outlaw on YouTube and he sent me this gift uh, from North Western Australia, right up in the Outback up there somewhere, hence the name Outback Outlaw. Now not only is this a beautiful gift, but the meaning behind the gift is even more uh, important to me. And this is why I wanted to share it. So let's hear from Nathan about the gift as I open it up. G'day Throttlers, it's Outback Outlaw here. Rob asked me to give you a little bit of a story about the painting that I sent him just recently. It's a story about two turtles. There's a saltwater turtle and there's a freshwater turtle. The saltwater turtle has spin effects on its back and the freshwater turtle has seaweed on its back. It's a fantastic story about reconciliation. Zach James, the artist, his father comes from Goulburn Island where I grew up in the Northern Territory, but Zach has never seen his homeland. He lives here in Western Australia where I live and he painted this painting to tell the story about reconciliation, about two worlds coming together, about two different people coming together, but with the same goal, to swim out there in the world. So I wanted to give this to Rob because that's what he does with his channel. He lets everybody come together and he's such a true gent and a true Aussie. Thanks, Rob. Now, as you can see, the writing on the back, Zach James. And as Nathan said, this is about different communities coming together as one. So here we go. Look at this. In my opinion, this painting is absolutely magic. You can see the two turtles there uh, and it's on a canvas and I now have to find out how to get a canvas mounted into a frame because I haven't done that before. But man, this, this is actually a really emotional uh, painting for me. So um, yeah, so I hope you like it. Uh, it's. Look, for some reason, this paint... <clears throat> for some reason, this painting... Um, <clears throat> for some reason, this painting creates an emotional energy response from me, and I don't know why, I can't explain it, but when I look at it, I feel very emotional. And um, it's weird, and uh, I, I feel weird about it, but that's just how it is. But how beautiful is it? What a beautiful painting. Um, and I can't wait to hang it on my wall. Outback Outlaw. Thank you so much, mate. Um, it is very special to me, and it'll be hung on my wall as soon as I get it framed. So thank you, my man. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Now again, guys, remember, there was a code word that flashed up somewhere in this video. Enter the code word in your comments down below, uh, go into the chance to win your classic throttle down under cap. I'll send it anywhere in the world for you. Uh, it'll be one person randomly selected. And until next week, folks, throttle on, stay safe, and uh, I'll see you soon.